All right, we're back with another Tire Power profile. And remember to all Melbourne United fans, before you hit the road, to go get your tyres checked for your local Tire Power. Sam Shaw, thanks for joining me. How's everything been? Obviously, lockdown prior, and now we're, we're coming out of it. But how's everything been? Ah, thanks for having me, mate. Um, yeah, it's been really enjoyable. Obviously, it was a little tough stretch for a while there, but um, no, all the guys are back together and um, loving getting back on the court and training together. Well, it's been an interrupted pre-season, obviously, everything that's been going on, and, and you can't have contact, and now you can have contact. So how's it been? Is You've been part of pre-seasons before. How's it been knowing these differences? Yeah, well, it has been quite different. Um, I guess for me, it was awesome in a way because I guess all the restrictions forced um, us just to work on our one, like, individual skills. Um, so it was one-on-one -on -one with a coach um, for quite a few weeks there, but um, it was something quite different, obviously, in pre-season. You're obviously scrimmaging a lot, um, playing together, but we really got to focus on our skills, uh, which was fantastic. But, um, yeah, now, obviously, with a, a few easing and the restrictions, we can get back together playing five and five, and, um, yeah, really loving it. So you're a development player again for Melbourne United and your goal is to obviously make the roster. What do you think you have to improve on and what's going to help you make that jump? Yeah, well, obviously, um, having a lot of conversations with coaches and for me, it's just about continually working on my body and, um, you know, we've been really happy with how it's progressing so far. Um, but other than that, on the court, just becoming a really consistent shooter, um, a lockdown defender and just finding ways that I can impact the game. Um, you know, obviously the role I want to target is that backup point guard, but um, being versatile to defend multiple positions and, and also play off the ball on offense is quite vital. So, yeah, I guess playing my position, just constantly working on all my skills, but, um, you know, thinking ahead to the future, it's definitely about that shooting and, and locking down defensively. So you got a, a few returning guys from last year you're familiar with and a couple of new faces. How do you think this group is going to play this year? Well, it's really interesting. Um, our training so far, it's almost like we've had this group together for a few years. Um, the way we're gelling already is pretty incredible. Um, even just on our few five and five sessions, um, guys are getting after it, super competitive, but the ball is just flowing. Um, you know, obviously having the, the regular guys like Chris, Barlow, Maka, um, Shea, um, you know, they can really lead, lead the team. Um, but the, 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 new, the new guys, Jack White, Udai, um, you know, they've been outstanding so far coming in. Um, so it's, it's certainly very exciting looking forward. We know Dean Vickman puts a lot of emphasis on chemistry and building that team synergy. With such an interrupted preseason, what kind of steps have you guys made to build that chemistry? Yeah, it's um, been documented a little bit. We uh, jumped on Zoom calls two to three times a week as a whole group. Um, we usually sit down as a team in pre-season um, to talk about different things, different uh, mantras that we have. But we've really used the time to get to know one another pretty personally, uh, which always helps. Um, but then, yeah, just using the time to, that we're not on court to actually sit down and, and discuss where we want to be as a team and where each player wants to get to. So uh, it's, been, it's been quite different doing that over Zoom. It's, it's nice to do it face to face. But um, yeah, it's got to take advantage of what we had at the time. We well, mentioned a couple of new faces, watching them on the court and having practice with them now. Who's really stood out and impressed you of the new guys? Uh, yeah, I don't really want to leave anyone out, but uh, Whitey, you know, it's been spoken about a little bit. He's just outstanding. Um, I've been teammates with him for a long time, since our junior days, and he's always been super competitive. He's always been like that. Um, but now you can tell that he's been in a program with just complete NBA pros at Duke University. So uh, he's obviously stood out. Um, we had a little bit of testing today and, and Udai really surprised everyone, I think. He's super quick, super agile. Um, can shoot it really, really well. So uh, those two guys in particular for me have been great. Well, you've been a part of the club for a few years now. Give us a little insight into how important the members and the fans are on game night, and even when we don't play the games and that noise and how it impacts the way the team plays. Yeah, well, they're huge. Anyone that's been to a game at Melbourne Arena knows that how loud and exciting it can be. Um, and I think this year especially, we have so many guys that can like perform some great highlights. So, um, yeah, I mean, the energy that 
the players feel from you fans is it's outstanding. Um, when we get on a run and you're screaming at us, when we get some big stops, uh, you know, it all adds up. It all helps. So, you know, myself especially, we're all really um, keeping everything crossed that we can get as many fans as we can in Melbourne Arena, and I'm sure it will happen soon. So, yeah. Well, it has been frustrating, obviously, that the season's been delayed, but it's going to give that chance potentially for a lot of home games for Melbourne and for the fans. So how important is it to make sure that no matter what happens, the fans stay behind you guys? Yeah, well, it, it absolutely it means everything to us, really. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we play for Melbourne. That's what we want to do uh, as Melbourne United. We want to play for our fans. We want to win a championship for our fans. And um, knowing that we have your full support behind us um, makes us go just that extra bit um, harder. So, yeah, we're obviously really looking forward to it forward to it, super excited and, and can't wait to get started. Well, appreciate your time. Big thanks to Ty Power. Make sure all Melbourne United fans go and get their tyres checked before hitting the road. So thanks for your time, Shorty. Good luck this season. Thanks, mate. Cheers.